guys, welcome back to another turtle animation video. Today we'll be starting a new series, making a Minecraft mansion inside of Minecraft, of course. Um, and this will be little episodes continuing on Fridays as well as streams and different tutorials. So I hope you enjoy and we'll get into the video. So, I've currently got a plan in my head knowing what I'm going to do. So, this episode is just going to be like falling the foundations, you know, getting the house started. So, uh, we're going to do that for now. So, the dimensions of the house is it's, uh, going to be 75 blocks wide along here, along there. Then, it's going to be 55 down there, and depending on how many floors I decide, it's going to be that tall. We're going to start with a smooth quartz kind of structure of the build. So we're just going to build this here. we split this into three sections because of the roof. So this is section number one consisting of 25 blocks in the center of 65, so that's one third. The second middle section is also consisting of 25 blocks, making the second section two thirds. Then we've got the last section of course again containing 25 blocks wide and making the third section or three thirds of a whole so we're going to have the initial two stories of the build with uh, an added attic roof. So that should be how it works. So we're going to go five up for each story. So five, and then this is going to be the actual top of the structure. So we've got the two floors marked out how they are. You can build this up. Two, three, four, five. Then you're going to put your six block because that will be where the floor is almost the roof of the ceiling of that next story. So that's the point of the build, that's the initial build. So you've got the first two stories, that should be in the front of the tree. Um, then the third story will consist of a storage area, or we do three stories. I think to make it a proper large, nice mansion, we're going to build it up another five blocks and then the six block floor, and then it's going to be a three story mansion with an attic. So at the moment, we're just going to keep it for this before we build the. Um, initial roof of the build with this with stairs so we've got four five blocks up sixth block of the ceiling the third floor so that's the initial structure of the build and we're going to build it round with uh, 55 blocks so i'm just going to um do this very quickly um i'll see you after i've completed that Two. Right guys, so this is the initial structure of the house as you can see here. So I've added a little bit extra on here, so it's gonna be a little room, probably the kitchen or something. Just an additional room to make it look a bit nicer, where this is gonna also have a little triangle pyramid roof. So that should work a little. So, so that's the initial structure of the build. You can see this is the main actual area of the building of the actual mansion. Then you'll find this little thing being a little add-on to this side. So, first of all, what I'm going to do now, instead of filling in the walls first, you've got the actual structure of the build we're going to build. So, first, we're going to get to work and we're going to actually build the roof of this bit so you can see 
how it interlinks with the build. So it's going to be exactly the same as I'm going to do on the roof, except for this is going to be one triangle instead of consisting of three, as um, this roof actually will. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually make the initial build pattern. So um, just do this. Right, unfortunately guys, I've actually done this one uh, too far, so I've done it one off, so um, I'll have to see you guys after I've just uh, corrected this, so um, I'll speed this up. Right, perfect, and now we're just going to have a little colour there. So this is actually going to be filled with virtual, so it's going to be here. Uh, to say, so you're gonna carry on this across the build. But yeah, um, you'll see this in a second. So um, just complete this. Right guys, so as you can see here, we've got the initial structure of the build uh, fully completed including the roof. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to actually fill in these with the actual stairs and then I'm going to complete um, the roof of this one. So then, in this episode, we'll have done the structure of it and the stairs to then complete the walls and the interior. So, we're just going to get the right stairs now here. We're going to get... Um, birch stairs along with spruce and oak to decide which one we're going to do. So if the actual initial stru um, structure of the build is birch, we can use our birch stairs to make it look a bit better. So it matches so it's separated by quartz. So we're going to do this here. We build this up here. We're going to do a block here. Continue birch stairs down here, so it's going to carry on like a roof all the way down to here. So just carry on to make it a bit even because instead of doing one long, very ugly pyramid of roof, what we're going to do is we're going to do it separated into three different sections because it makes it look a ton a lot better. Instead of just having one ugly pyramid that goes so so high into the air. So they go in the first two ones, so we'll just go along to the second one. And the last one. Up across here. So carry on up here again for the block. We're gonna continue pyramid pyramiding up to um go down even to uh, the roof. So you get but uh, this is another building trick in fact to um, to do this with the um, stairs is to overlap it to make it look a bit better but if you do overlap there's a technique to make it even better than just looking like an ugly little thing so because it, as you can see look like, it's a 90 degree angle of just blocks that doesn't look very good at all i'm going to show you a demonstration with this one so just uh, carry on down here So as you can see, I've just done the overlap here. But if you can see now, if I do the bunch stairs, but you see I do it the opposite way to that stair, so it, it do it upside down. And if you carry that up all the way to the top of the stair build, all the way to up here, do you see how much better that looks if that was both sides? So what I'm going to do is instead, of, yeah, so doing that. I'm going to continue down the other side. 
just do it down here so as you can see that is so much better than just having a 90 degree block in there to make it look different that's so much better and so much more intricate but you see this little gap here what i do instead of placing a thingy there because that doesn't look really great i mean it works but so that's one type you can do but anyway else anyway but that doesn't look very good so what i do is i get a so i'm using birch so i get exactly the same birch slab so i get it from here and put it there so that is perfect so that works exactly here or if you want to just keep it like that that looks like that looks fine but i'll put one of those there so i'm going to carry this all along the build now and i'm gonna see you when you finish that Right, so as you can see, I've just done it for the other two pyramids, and the same, I'm just going to go up like this, and do this. As you can see now I've finished that and that looks so much more better that looks so much better than it would have if I just did the initial build with just the stairs as it is so I'm going to fill in this bit with my patching in Right guys, so as you can see I've filled in all the little root, all the bits of the roof and I've left a little gap in each one as you'll see. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill go ahead and fill this in with glass to make it look just a little bit better, to make it look a bit better, like just in general, and so you get a bit of light in the attic and also it just makes a bit build look a bit more modern posh. Yeah, some more light into it. So just do the last one here. go fit in the glass and then now lastly last of all i'm going to finish off now and do this room this was going to be exactly the same as the other quite simple quite fast quite easy so the build up here So I've just done the uh, initial layer of this, um, doing all the stairs up and again as you'll see now, um, doing this again, doing the old trick, putting the stairs upside down, makes it so much better. And even with small roofs like this, really small buildings, even if if you even if you've been like a really small starter house, it just I know it's a small survival starter house, even if you've been one of those, it just makes it look so much better and it makes it look so much more professional. I think it's really worth doing in your builds, so that's a really useful tip and thing to do in all your builds. So again we're doing that all the way down the side. edge of that bit of the house and now last of all I'm just gonna do this finish the stairs or the roof across here so do it across here one two three one two three Next 
official side, so we'll do that also the next video for the English to raise a voice, which might take a while because it's a uh, very intricate. You can get a few degrees off or a few centimeters. Off. I'm gonna keep getting those all the time. So, you should know across the middle one. Now, you'll see that this side I'm not actually doing the overlap of the stairs. Reason being because you won't see that side because it will be in fact against this wall. So the wall of the house so you won't need to see that and you won't need to look at that but if i was if i wasn't building this mansion and that the initial build wasn't here i would do it that side also to make both sides look better look as good as each other So there you go, perfect, finish one side's row all the way up to the top, then just do the second side, the last side. because otherwise um, as you can see here the fact that um, it's a small building it's on the side of the house I've only gone up to a certain layer um, of the house otherwise it would have gone up very very high so as you can see I've only gone up to the second story so that's the first block and second story otherwise if I did the whole triangle thing it would go up to about here being towards the roof we don't want it that high so there you go so we've finished this episode and it may not look like a lot, a lot at all it may look like just not very good not very started but that is very good because we've finished the initial structure and roof of the house we know the plan so yeah we've done the initial plan so um thank you very much for watching this first episode make sure to like share subscribe and then hit the notifications to make sure you never miss one of our videos again so once again thank you for watching thank you for 45 subscribers and we'll see you in the next video goodbye